game. I mean, that was a career high for you. Um, two really big catches too. Um, I mean, it was an awesome feeling, you know, just one that we was able to come out with a win. So that, you know, that's the ultimate goal, but you know, individually, I just went out there and nothing changed. Just went out there and just played, just made plays when we had to, whether it's catching, running, or blocking. So just ultimately just excited, you know, career high, like you said, and excited that we won. Ricardo? Hey, Marquez. Uh, I know you've, this is kind of the first season that you've been playing at home with a full crowd, but you probably heard all the stories of just how, you know, that home field advantage in the Superdome is. How weird is it that this team that only has one victory inside the dome this year? And how important is it that these last two home games you've got to close out since you are in the middle of a playoff race? Uh, right. Um, yeah, I've heard stories and everybody told me since I've gotten here, like I haven't played here for the Saints until I had a chance to play in front of the crowd. And I mean, since preseason when we had a little bit of crowd there, you know, it's just been nothing but, but great, you know, being able to listen and hear the advantage we have, whether that's um, compared to on, on the road and at home. So it was just, you know, a feeling that I can't explain. You know, I told my best friend, you know, you got to come up here so you can experience, you know, the stadium because it's, it's definitely different than college, definitely different than any other game that you've been to. So I'm still trying to get them up. We've got two games left to get them up. But looking forward to these two games at home, I mean, we're going to need all the home crowd we, can, we need and can use. So. I'm excited for it. I know they're excited for it. You know, we have a chance to turn things around here at the end. So that's what we're going to go out and do. Jeff Duncan. Hey, Marquez, um, I wanted to get your take on the um, on the, the controversial hit that P.J. Williams uh, had on Chris Godwin. I mean, you've been a receiver, and you've made on those crossing routes, I'm sure, throughout your career. Sometimes you're defenseless, but yet I know you know P.J. He's a teammate. You know he's not trying to hurt somebody, but I'm kind of curious to get your thoughts on where where you stand on all that because it's become kind of a thing this week. Um, yeah, I haven't. Like you said, that was the first time I've heard anything about it. Honestly, you know, I've never I've never heard of it. I mean, on the field during the game when it happened, you know, nobody likes to see a player go down. Our team or any other team, you know, no matter if you know we're playing against them, you know. So seeing him go down, I mean. I, I'm not going to say, like, I mean, he went down and he was hurt, and that's never a good thing. So, you know, I was hope, I hope everything went well for him. But then I seen, you know, as we were going home that he had an MCL. So, I mean, I hate that for him, and I hope he wish him the best of recovery. But um, when you just said that, that was my first time, honestly, hearing about it being a controversial hit. I mean, like you said, we go through the middle all the time. We get hit like that all the time. So it's just unfortunate that. You know, it happened to a player like him and to one of our guys doing it, so. This will be the last one for Marquez. Uh, Luke Johnson. Quez. You got you, Marquez. Hey, uh, just curious how you guys offensively just, just uh, view the games like last week. You guys played a couple of those this year where, where it's kind of just control the ball and play complementary defense. like like. Do you want to play games like that when when you when those games end or are you kind of frustrated you didn't put up more more points? How do you kind of do that? Um, as an offense, as, as a receiver, you know, receiver we want to throw the ball every down. Obviously, we know you can't do that, but you know, as an offense, I feel like we we want to score points every time you go out there, whether it's touchdowns, field goals, or it, you know anything. So, but putting our defense in the situation that we have been putting our defense, I mean. Even though they can take it, and they've been doing a great job the last few weeks or this season, as a matter of fact, we can't keep doing that because sooner or later, you know, it's going to come back and hurt us. So, I mean, defense does a great job stopping the opponent going out there and doing what they can. And then we go out there, and, you know, we have a few drives where, you know, we're three and out, then they're right back on the field. And, I mean, as a receiver, and I know it's frustrating because, you know, we feel like, 
maybe there's something more we can do to keep our defense from being out. Because like you said, it's complimentary football. They have our back, we have their back. And the less that they're on the field, the more um, product and more that they can produce. So just being able to go out and well, if we have to sustain drives or if we have to, you know, just run, play where we have to run the ball out, then, I mean, as long as it's helping our defense, that's all that matters. So that's pretty much what we try to do. I think that's it. Appreciate it, Mark West. Thank you all.